Hello everyone, I'm Al and today I'm going to show you how to finish the first contact mission where you have to build a distress beacon and then deal with whoever comes. Now if you're brand new to the game, this is one of the first starter quests you get to get you to start the game and how to learn about it. And well, if you do build it, it is going to tell you to prepare before you put down the beacon. But unfortunately a lot of people don't expect what happens. And this is a spoiler, so if you've not played this, well you probably don't want to watch this unless you actually want to know what happens, in which case, well, keep on watching. Now when you build the distress beacon, it's for first contact. The main premise is you think it's going to be a rescue party coming, someone coming to rescue. Instead, you're going to get a UFO that arrives and it's going to beam down evil penguins, penguins of M16s and assault rifles. And they're going to murder you, they're going to kill you and take your shit. So let's show you how to deal with it. Now as you can see, my guy's wearing armor. And it's actually really easy. I'm wearing iron armor, but if you go to your anvil, which you can build just by getting copper ore and iron ore, smelting it and putting it together, it's mostly just iron, you can build copper armor. Now this is essentially what you want. You want to have some armor, and it, as you can see, 12 copper bars for the pants, 20 for the helmet, and 35 for the chest. Now that's really easy to find. Copper is really abundant, and you want that. And you'll find it while mining the stuff you need for the distress beacon. Now if we go and look at the distress beacon, what you need for it is 150 pixels. You get that by killing monsters, mining, opening chests, two silver. That's the hardest to find. But in the process of finding that, you will find 10 copper and 10 iron and 100 wooden planks. Those are the easiest. Now let's go ahead and build our beacon. Now it doesn't matter, you can have the best sword in the game, the best axe, the best armor. But that's not really going to help you. A UFO is flying around. And what you want is the hunting bow. Now the hunting bow is really easy. It's one of the first things you can make in your crafting table. And that's one of the second quests you get. It's really easy to get. You need one plant fiber. You get plant fiber by harvesting your crops sometimes or by cutting down vines. You find them all over the place. You can use your matter manipulator or your axe to do that. And 10 unrefined wood. So let's make our hunting bow. Okay. So we've got our little hunting bow there. We're going to equip that instead of my flashlight and you can see you hold it in, the longer you hold it in the farther you shoot but you can see there's a little split second where it flashes that's when you've got the optimum amount to hit now after you have your hunting bow you can actually upgrade it, you can get your anvil the anvil is perfect, that's what you want the anvil you need 8 iron, you'll find iron everywhere when you're mining it's great, you get that, you go there and then you want an iron hunting bow essentially nearly double damage if not more sometimes the patches keep changing damage levels but it is a big upgrade you need 150 pixels you need your hunting bow and 15 iron bars so let's make that and as you can see up top I now have iron hunting bow and I have my distress beacon so let's go put it down and deal with whoever is coming now let's show you how to use the hunting bow, you just simply click and release and as you can see half the health is gone on these weird looking bat things and we'll just finish them off with the sword quickly whoa okay I didn't expect that but anyway now that I'll show you how to use it let's place our beacon now you want to have some armor take some time to actually collect everything don't just take the beacon and slap it down Take your time. As you can see down below, I've mined quite a bit. Mine as much as you can, get the best you can. Once you have copper armor, you can upgrade that to iron armor, like I'm wearing, the scavenger's breastplate. It gives you extra health and some nice old armor bonuses, and that's what you really want. And you do need your bow, otherwise you're going to have a tough time dealing with that UFO. Now, let's place our distress beacon and wait for them to arrive. Now, as soon as the UFO arrives, as you see there, they're going to start beaming down on people. Here's the old UFO. Whoa, and you can see they do an awful lot of damage. Now you have to be awfully careful. There's going to be monsters and everything around as well. The UFO is one hell of a tough boss. You want to make sure you have best armor you can. Now you can also make bandages from the same fibers you get from making your bow. And you want to have as many as possible. 
Now with the latest patch, they actually made the UFO a lot stronger. Originally, if you had an iron hunting bow, you could deal with him in two to three hits. It's really simple. But that's why I'm suggesting you take your time, build up your armor, get the weapons you need, and then deal with him. Otherwise, you're going to be in quite a bit of trouble. As you can see, there's a little green bar down below, just below my health. That's my energy. And the more energy you have, the more bow shots you can take, and the longer you can charge it up. So take your time. I can't stress enough how you need to take your time, build up everything. Because originally this guy was extremely easy, extremely easy. But as you can see, he does warp around. And you just simply can't get at him when you've got just a sword. You have to wait for him to come down. And you can see the little buggers coming at me here. Ah, okay. He's even dropping little spawns here. And you can see they're shooting at me as well. That's why it's also really important to time your bow just right so that when it starts glowing, you can use it straight away. Oh, and do deal with the little guys at the bottom. If not, you're gonna have a bit of an issue. And it's essentially a mini boss fight. They used to be really easy. It's not so much anymore. And a new patch came out just this morning which means things have been changed yet again. So, if you can avoid little guys, you can. And there we have it. We've just beaten the UFO boss and dealt with the penguins. And it'll take you a few hours to get ready for it. Do get ready. And the nice thing is, once you beat him, you get a Molten Core. You can see it right there, blue, it's a rare item. A very powerful Molten Core can be used to craft a metal workstation. Now once you have that, you can upgrade your anvil to a metal workstation, which means you get brand new technology. Brand new tech, you can unlock the next sector, and you can build some pretty damn nice things. Now I hope this little tutorial showed you how to deal with the penguins. Remember, you want to take your time. Get your iron bow, get your copper or iron armor, and do make sure you deal with that booger. Don't go in unprepared. If you rush through these little quests, you're gonna get killed. And then you're going to have to build another distress beacon and you're going to have to try it again and again. So take your time, take an hour or two, mine as much as you can, get all the resources you want and be prepared. Now I hope that helped. I'm Al. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you have any positive or negative comments, put them down below. I'll read them and I'll try to respond to all of them. Now thanks for watching and bye bye.